Welcome back. And they are off. A group of students at Edison Preparatory left this morning for Washington, D.C. They are set to attend Inauguration Day on Friday. Two works for you. Reporter Katie Wisely tells us why one eighth grader decided to take the trip to Capitol Hill. Five minutes until class begins. A quick locker stop. Each step brings them closer. Posters align the walls, words sacred to this country. A founding father keeps an eye on this class. Jamison White is turning pages back in time. Writing answers to history, that's today's lesson. It's uh, really relatable almost because it's like how our country started. But Friday's lesson will be outside the walls of Mr. McAfee's class. You're going to make sure that your name is spelled correctly. Initial that. 50 students signed in, anxiously sitting in the cafeteria. You're going to grab the poncho because it's going to be rainy. Their American history teacher preparing his students to witness history. We're realistically looking at walking three miles to our spot. Matthew McAfee saw President Barack Obama take office in 2009. You have people that are lined up for, for almost miles, it seems like, and they're waving American flags. They're super excited to be there. You can just have an atmosphere that's unlike anything else. It was part of the reason why I thought this would be something so awesome to, for the kids to get to see. McAfee says it's not about the political party, it's about transition of power. These kids are going to be able to look at a history book later and know that they were there for that. Jamison's father says the $2,000 trip is worth every penny. Who wants to pass up that opportunity? I mean, I would love to go see this. David White wants his 14-year-old to get involved. This gets to kind of show them the outcome of the system, but hopefully get some excitement that they'll want to be part of the process and not the people that just stay home and say, oh, my one vote doesn't matter, I'm not going to vote. As Jamison packs, layers among layers, for her four-day trip, she hopes her generation, especially this generation currently and millennials, like have seemed to like stop caring and that's really not okay. Knows the future lies in their hands. So like this is good to like get exposed early so you can continue to have that as you grow older. Suitcase in hand, Jamison White is rolling her voice and heart to Washington. Katie Wisely, two works for you. And what an experience it will be. We've given Jamison a GoPro. She's going to be our sideline reporter. She's going to be taking videos and pictures. Uh, we wish her safe travels. Uh, you can see what happens firsthand when the 45th president takes oath. We'll be sure to put that on our website, KJ.